Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm gonna be sharing with you a switch pattern that I learned in the book, uh, Mastering the Switch Pattern by Sean Carson and Jess Marion. And it is the kinesthetic switch, or rather, one of the two possible versions of the uh, kinesthetic switch. So before we dive into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to get more life-changing videos like this one, so that you can continue to learn ways of improving your mindset, mastering your emotions, and get better results in your life. So it, this variation of the kinesthetic swish is the slow kinesthetic swish. And the reason it's slow is because it's best used for high energy states going into low energy states. So for example, a high energy state that might be limiting could be anxiety, stress, worry, and if we want to transition from one of those incredibly high energy states that's not resourceful, it's useful to get you to a place of calm. So we want to go from all the way to ah. So in this variation, we're going to use the slow kinesthetic swish. In the next video, we're going to go over the fast kinesthetic swish and in what situations that might be useful. Stay tuned. The kinesthetic swish, whereas the initial swish pattern was we're going to go from trigger image to desired image. In this switch pattern, we're gonna go from trigger feeling, or negative feeling rather, to the desired feeling. And we're gonna chain the neurology so that when the neurology starts to go into the negative state, the negative state starts to dissipate while you simultaneously go into the resource state. So to do this, <clears throat> You're going to need your limiting state and you're going to need your desired state. So remember first to identify your limiting state. Remember a time when you had your problem and see what you saw at the time, hear what you heard and feel what you felt right before you had that problem. And as you go into the negative state, let's say it's a state of stress or worry or anxiety, Start to notice what it feels like as you're in that state, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard, and really feel what it felt like to be in that state. And then what I want you to do is I want you to break state completely. So I want you to physically move your body, shake that off. You might want to step out of that area wherever you were doing that exercise. Take a deep breath in, uh, shake it out, really change your, your mental state, your body from that previous part of the exercise. But once you've identified the negative state and you can call it back quickly, you're ready to move on to the next state or the next step, which is identifying the next state that you wanna be in. So if you're switching from a state of anxiety, uh, you might wanna switch into a state of calm. And so the next thing to do is to remember a time when you felt that sense of calm or that sense of peace. And as you remember that, go back, see what you saw at the time, hear what you heard, and notice what it feels like in your body as you start to feel that sense of calm and really allow yourself to go into that state of calm. Make the images brighter, more vivid, zoom in on whatever it is that allows you to magnify that state of peace and tranquility to the point where you're really getting a grasp and memorizing this state of being calm. Memorize the neurology, memorize what you do with your body, how it feels, how you speak to yourself. And when you've got that, go ahead and break state again. Now, this kinesthetic swish is really simple to do. All I'm going to ask that you do in this version of the swish pattern is that you step into the trigger situation and when you go into the negative state, you're going to imagine that you can grab a hold of that negative feeling and you're going to imagine that you can simply unhook it from the nervous system. You're gonna pretend that you can unhook that negative feeling. You're gonna imagine that for in whatever way works for you, that suddenly that negative feeling 
gets unhooked from the body and begins to float and lift and rise up out of you. And as that feeling begins to lift up out of the body, at the rate and speed that you feel that negative feeling leaving, allow yourself to gently go into the calm state or the resource state at the rate and speed that the negative state leaves. So the negative state leaves, and at the rate and speed you go into the calm state. So do this with me now. Close your eyes. Put yourself back into the negative state. See what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt as you went into that negative limitation. And then go ahead and imagine you can unhook that now. So just imagine grabbing hold of it, unhooking it, and imagine that that state could float up out of you as you begin to re-access that resource state. The negative state diminishes more and more as you go deeper and deeper into the calm state or the resource state until that negative state has completely diminished and you find yourself fully in the resource state, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard, and now feeling yourself in this new resource state. And just take a moment to really enjoy that change to those old associations. And once you've done that, go ahead and shake it off. And now you're gonna to want to break state. So give it 90 seconds, distract yourself, find something else in the room to look at, stand up, pause the video, uh, shake that off. And then I want you to test. So I want you to put yourself back in that situation and just notice the change. Notice whether or not you're automatically calm or notice if the anxiety or the limiting state automatically leaves you and is replaced by calm. What is the change that you've noticed? And I want you now to go through and make this change more powerful for yourself by conditioning this pattern. So practice now going from that limiting state, unhooking that feeling, and allowing yourself to enter into the calm state or the resource state. And really mentally rehearse this over and over and over with a break state in between each one until it's simple and easy for you to unhook that negative feeling and enter into the positive state. Uh, let me know how you got on with this exercise. Uh, write your comments, uh, make sure you're liking, commenting, and hitting the subscribe button so that other people get access to these videos. And if you have questions, reach out, let me know, and I'd be happy to help you um, make the most use out of this exercise.